I lift up from me hey, I fall back to me And save it, it up hey, I yeah. lift up and all the sound hey, Spinning around hey, Bubbling up from below
But this man's way too damn filled away from you You can't lie upon it, just lie Nails sleep and I open Bed of nails, you're on the toss and turn Bed of nails, there ain't no use in hoping You gotta just learn
So you say you've been here, you know. I've been cheated, I've 
I've been misunderstood. I've been washed up. I've been put down and told I'm no good. But with you I belong. Could you help me be strong? There's a change in my life since you came along. Whoa, 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 yeah. Now I don't mind working so hard every day, no. And I don't pay no mind to what people say. Cause after all the pain I've been through, Lord knows I'd give up everything just to love only you. All my life I held my head been in shame But now I've found you And with you I remain I've been lonely, I've been cheated I've been misunderstood I've been washed up, I've been put down And told I'm no good But with you I belong Could you help me be strong? There's a change in my life since you came along. Whoa, 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 yeah. A man gets crazy when his life is all wrong. And a heart gets weary when it doesn't belong. When the road gets rocky, Lord, you've got to keep on. Let the new light come shining on through Oh yeah, I've been lonely, I've been cheated I've been misunderstood I've been washed up, I've been put down And told I'm no good But with you I belong Could you help me be strong? There's a change in my life Since you came along I've been lonely I've been cheated, I've been misunderstood I've been washed up, I've been put down And told I'm no good But with you I belong Could you help me be strong? There's a change in my life Since you came along
floats through my sky And when the world is too much And the hurt's got me down on my knees To pray I'll hear your voice And you won't be so far away Do you remember Today the shooting was walking out with the sun. The lights of Chambala on the halls. It's with beautifully well lit. Uh, nice. This is one of the best parts of the day, actually, getting taken care of in such a nice, nice fashion. Getting all pretty dolled up. Yeah, preparing for the uh, the halls of Chambala. Yeah, you look special. You look very pretty. Thanks. Uh, People have called me special, although I don't, I'm not sure it was ever a compliment. <laughs> it's time coming for the window. 
band, right dancing, shaking. And this is a very surreal experience, you know, working all night in an abandoned power station. Yeah, but you know what, when you use Doing music videos. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what can I tell you? Wow. Rock Pella is uh, awesome. Yeah, we've got, we've got all these cool dancers that we're working with. I feel like a real rock singer doing this. Don't you? Oh, yeah. Can you do some uh, footage of you? If you want. Sure. Oh, we all play. This is called uh, Turn Around is Fair Play. Yeah. Got to, we're overexposed here. We're way overexposed. Hey there. And I'm not sure why. I think it's just that's the way it is. Really? I think so. Hmm. Because I don't know of any other way to uh, exposure, maybe? Yeah, you can. Well, try, oh, yeah, try that. Try that. You know, get out in front of it. <coughs> Yeah, that's a lot better. Is it? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. So, yeah, this is your first year with Rockapella. Oh, yeah. Coming up on your anniversary here. Yeah. Arm pitches. Yeah? Yeah, you know. Yeah, what's your favorite thing good. so far? Uh, last night. Yeah? Yeah, watching the dancers and stuff like that. Yeah, they're pretty cool, yeah. aren't they? It was great to see them dancing to, them, to our music. To our music, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Those dancers are pretty good, but I could, I could dance with rings around. This, I could know, dance. They can like put noogies on his head. I could dance. I could dance upside down rings around him. I bet you could. Show us a little move. Oh yeah. Okay. really. <laughs> 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 All right. I admit it. I can't dance. <laughs> Climaxing some sort of huge. Give some left finger. <laughs> Big. So are we getting wet? No. Good, bad, or indifferent. He's gonna work it. Good choice, bad choice. I'll shake my buddy. Try another. That's Kelly. Hi. Jenny. Hi. Hi. How are you? Robin. Hello. This is B. B. Snap. <laughs> What's your Scared name? Me. Frank, man. Frank. Yeah. How you doing, bro? Frank. It's cool. All right, tilting up. All right, come back. All right, all right. Stay strong. <laughs> I like that talk. That talk the kids do. They like the music. They like it. They're singing it after they listen. <laughs> they have dancers. Like real life dancers. The camera. This thing does. Look at that. <laughs> like a flower. Thank you so much. Hey. The secret of the entertainment industry. Waiting. Scott takes the stage. The finest bud in all the land. Five, six, seven, eight, go. Work it out. 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 It's the face. To the Jim Carrey. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's the opener, I think. <laughs> to our last day at the power plant. Our last week. Working from one in the afternoon till, till four in the morning. Four in the morning. Yeah. Talk about your good times. It's a rock and roll life. I got started singing at my mother's side as she played the organ in the living room. Singing, Sonny, thank you for the line and the wind of the Sonny. Cool. Da, 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 da. That one. And things like things from uh, Aquarius. That guy. Good morning, starshine. Da, 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 da. I remember singing that. The Earth says hello. Yeah, Barry was there. I was there. Yeah. Um, that's how I started. Shoulder. And then I, my first uh, 
What was your first big step onto the stage? Oh, in uh, fifth or sixth grade, I was the star of the school play card called the Star-Bellied Sneetches. And my first number was, <clears throat> Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be rough than you are Would you rather be a Sneetch? That was the uh, changed lyric. Talented lyricist in fifth grade, where our teacher was. But I remember uh, being very nervous. And then right before my song, I, I can re remember this feeling like, I'm not going to be nervous. I'm just taking a deep breath and going out and I hear selling that. it. I so, hear that. Uh, and that was the start. Excellent. Of the love hate relationship with the ostentation. Um, how, did I, how did I kick into singing? Well, you know. My voice changed when I was a little boy, and uh, people, people like my whole life said, you should be a singer. I said, no, I don't want to be a singer. I want, I want to be a French horn player. And, uh, and you were, weren't you? Yeah, I was pretty hard-headed about it, and, and I actually uh, I had a career as a horn player, and it, it wasn't very much fun. In fact, it wasn't fun at all. It was uh, a drag. And I, was dating, I was dating a singer. She was hot. And she said, gee, you have a low voice. Why don't you come sing in our church choir? And uh, so I did. And that's how I got started, singing in church. Wow. My, uh, both my parents came from musical families. Everybody was singing or playing something. My dad played the spoons. Spoons? <laughs> uh, yeah, his mother was a grand p uh, concert pianist. So and he took up the spoons. Naturally. Yeah, there you go. It skipped a generation. <laughs> but at least he had rhythm. <laughs> and my uh, mother's parents were, uh, my, her father was a composer, is a composer of uh, non-jazz saxophone music. So... Big market for they that. Had, they had, well, actually, there's quite a little nugget of a market for that. But they were steeped in music throughout their lives. And... Uh, it just kind of came naturally. My brother and I uh, took up music from an early age. And in high school, I was chicken to sing. I told the uh, director of the school musical, which was Little Abner, that uh, I just wanted to pull the curtain. I just thought that that was kind of an interesting thing to do. <laughs> I was a freshman. What did I know? How safe? <laughs> that was safe. And of course, so you being the, in the wings. Yeah, and of course. And being the resourceful uh, high school musical director that she was, she drafted me to be a scrag, which is a character in Little Abner. Oh. So that was my, my first big, uh, I guess you could say. So your debut was as a scrag. So you, yeah, if you, you don't count, if you don't count piano lessons and French horn. And <laughs> did you be, were you a scrag and you pulled the curtain or you were no, somebody replaced you? No, the curtain magically pulled itself somehow. Oh. Somebody else was drafted. Is that why when, when your brother gets mad at you, he calls you a curtain pulling scrag? That's right. I see. And I started making funny noises with uh, all my toys, and there it went. What, what does that mean? Funny Strange. noises with your toys? Yeah. Which toy did that? Yeah, I was just going to ask that. Yeah, that was uh, after a lot of evolution. My mother says that I started singing before I started talking. Really? Yeah. Uh, it must have been really little. But when I was about four or five, I, I, I knew that I wanted to become a, become a singer. And uh, I used to sing all the time. But my first stage experience was uh, singing The Little Drummer Boy in third grade in elementary school when I was eight years old. I played the drums and I sang. It must have been really fun. <laughs> but the best thing was that we had a gig in the same auditorium a couple of years ago. I know. So it was like going full circle. Going back to my elementary school and doing a gig. Very right. How did you get started singing? Way back. Started singing? When you were a wee church. Curly boy. Southern Baptist Church. I started singing, singing for a solo at three. Wow, so that was really the first big stage experience. Yep. Got in a white suit, all white suit, like the preacher. Sit up on a big block. 
in front of the pulpit and started singing. And I, I held my spit in my mouth because I didn't know I could swallow while I sang. So I held my spit in my mouth the whole time and then on the last note, I had to swallow so bad. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> Three years old, man. I was like singing, it. kept uh, holding it, holding it, holding it. And then all of a sudden I like went for the last note and I was like, ah! like singing this last note. Like, <laughs> Choked on it and then kept going. Uh, what happened last night? Last night I kept waking up and uh, I kept thinking that we were still shooting the video. You're having a nightmare. Yeah, and I, I was thinking that I had to still look good. So I was like laying on the, my pillow, but not really because I didn't want to mess up my hair. So I kept like, you know, I didn't want to mess the makeup up. So I kept like finding myself like waking up kind of with my head kind of like pulled up off the pillow, kind of trying to like look good and you know, look around and see the cameras rolling and stuff, and then I finally got up and realized that it was a There's nightmare. nobody there. Uh oh, so you're not liking this right now. It's Jeff on the phone. You know, whenever Rockapella is together in one He's place, Jeff. there's one thing that draws them all together. Fish. Telephones. <laughs> Fish. Hey, how you doing? Fish in my shoes, man. I did my shoes yesterday. Oh, man, those were brand new. They're kind of cool, man. Rockefeller reveals the tricks of the trade. Ah, the lovely. Oh, they look like black socks, right? Barry had white socks, oh. and they were shining enough. <laughs> wow, reverse spats. What the heck lovely. is that? He's that a burn is... victim. Uh, here we go. Mm. <laughs> 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 he has wrinkly skin. Nice. I have heavy ankles. Yes. Or more. more. Rockefeller. California girl. Go, Elf. Mm. Hey. hey, that is a $30,000 hey, camera. You busted it. I cracked that. Eh. Um, Elliot, why don't you step over here a little bit closer, please? I'll be moving over here. You're happy with that. You like the ladder. Well, it feels kind of like jail. Oh, it feels kind of jail like. It is. It's great. So the motivation for this is that uh, Kelly's going to be doing some dirty dancing. Wow. And we're, we're just sort of hanging out, watching. Friday. That should be ample uh, inspiration. Motivation. What do you like to watch? Mmm. <laughs> I keep on thinking. What the hell? Kind of a nice, uh, a lot nicer thing to look at this time. Than what, me? Okay. You're taking everything the wrong way today, aren't you? <laughs> is all this, all this footage going on the Rockapella Truth or Dare video? Yes, it is. All right. This is our position for Rockapella. Here's Kelly. We've got Kevin on the telephone. Scott, Scott standing in for Kelly. Yeah, Jeff, we're setting That's up. My first strip club. Very excited. Setting up for the shot where. Actually, my third. Kelly's gonna be taking her clothes off. Thanks. Barry, how did you how did you uh, like growing up in California? Well, it's kind of like it was kind of like this, actually. Uh, it was a great place to grow up. A lot of dirty air. Dirty women, well, dirty thoughts, dirty jokes, <laughs> dirty cars, <laughs> dirty cops, dirty dogs. And now I feel like I'm home. I like this place. I think we should make it our fan club. Liar! Liar! Rockwell Clubhouse. I can't remember. Actually, over here. See this over here? We're looking. This, this is an ant farm. It's a science project. This whole place is a science project. That's the ant farm. And here, here we grow mushrooms. This is a fungus factory here. Standing in for the lovely Kelly. Oh, Curtis. He's a broke down Curtis. Oh, great The fine and sexy Curtis. Curtis. Okay. Yeah, he'll be back. He'll be down in a minute. 
It's all in the tongue. All in the tongue. Still ready. There it is, and that's the closer. <laughs>